gangs of hoodlums, people petrified in their own homes. The country's falling apart in Aaron. If only I was in a position to do something. You are the leader of the Labour Party. Exactly. Powerless. I have no choice. I shall become a masked hero, a bringer of vigilante justice. But what dark creature of the night shall I choose as my symbol? <laughs> That's it. The fox. The garbage-eating pest that strikes fear into the heart of every Tory. I'd better check with the NEC that foxes are kosher. Give me the purse or I'll kick out your Invisaligns. Piss off! <gasps> this party is over. I am Foxman and I'm here to clean up these streets. Most vigilante, eh? I'm not afraid of you. Nor should you be. I'm here to find a pragmatic solution which brings all sides together around a shared outcome. A shared outcome? It's trying to kill me! I understand the strength of feeling on this issue, which is why I'm proposing a royal commission. It's time to skin the fox! <gasps> Do you have a super weapon? No, it's something far more powerful. The Crime and Courts Act 2013. It gives judges at Crown, District and Magistrate level the power to defer <sighs> sentencing in lieu of restorative justice. He's asleep. <sighs> You're a genius, Badger lad. It's Foxman. Yeah, whatever. Safely back in the foxhole. The future looks bright for Foxman. And I, Aniron, your faithful butler, will be right there with you. Only if approved by the butler union, pursuant to overtime limits under the working time directive. What can you tell us about this mysterious vigilante? Oh, well, he was wearing a dead badger or something. It smelled of rotting flesh. <laughs> what a shame. Foxman is just another pervert with a dead animal fetish. More media smears. Oh, God, am I turning into Corbin? Another successful night for Foxman. I resolved a potentially deadly dispute between two neighbours by helping them correctly interpret a Section 106 planning obligation. Someone appreciates your work, sir. You've received an anonymous gift. Rubbish! Trash! Half-eaten leftovers! Someone knows how to spoil the fox! Homemade jam! And it's got a lovely sheen! Wait, sir! It might be a trap! It's not jam! It's a bold substance that can destroy Foxman! Corbinite! Drifting too far left! Obsessing about his rail. Electability dying. Sir, what should I do? Only one antidote to Corbinite. Blairite. To the Blair phone. People forget how popular these were. A new dawn has broken, has it not? Education, education and education. She was the people's princess. My fox powers have returned stronger than ever. In fact, let's invade somewhere. I'll prepare the dossier. Your tea, sir. Extra week. A quiet night? <laughs> no, Adiron. With the heightened senses of the fox, I smell trouble. Or possibly some spoiled cat food. Either way, Foxman is on the prowl. I'll brush up the fox tail. The Batman watches over Gotham from the bat's high perch. I shall guard London from the fox's lair. This robbery is over. Oh my God, it's my fiscally irresponsible nemesis, the borrower. Fox man. You have contravened section 81 of the 1968 Theft Act. Hand over the money, borrower. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Hand it out for the next furlough. You see, we're very alike, you and I. You mean we both have nice thick heads of hair? And we both want to help the common man. I see. Are you sure this money isn't going on a crowd-pleasing boost to defence spending? Well, obviously we have to take national security into consideration. I knew it! Your days of running up an eye-watering deficit are over. 
With these handcuffs, which I use under the reasonable force guidelines as set out in the Police Act of 1972, I will see that you... Oh. Oh. You are a cunning foe, borrower, but I will track you down. If not tonight, then during regular parliamentary question time. Fox man is bold, but he reckons without his true enemy. The joke. <laughs> you know you've got stuff all over your face, right? Uh, yes, I fell into my pudding. Yumminess Maximus.